We had the honor of talking to motorsports legend Eric Buell at the Long Beach Progressive International Motorcycle Show. Eric talked about the relaunch of EBR and the new lower priced 1190RX and SX, as well as the brand new urban hooligan bike, the Black Lightning. Let's go spend a few minutes with Eric Buell. Well, we're really happy to be back with EBR because, you know, we really know that a lot of Americans would love to see an American sport bike. The response to just EBR, as well as the Black Lightning, but the response has been fantastic, better than I could ever imagine. There's just a lot of people here. There's a really experienced motorcycle community in California. A lot of people ride here. And a lot of people have always wanted an American high-performance sport bikes. And a lot of people love the Buells that we did, you know. But with the Harley-Davidson engine, some of the tech guys wanted something more advanced, more modern. Now with this bike, there's no, you know, there's no compromises. It's, it's something that's, you know, world-class competitive. And I, it's been far beyond my expectations what the response has been here. So we came back with EBR first with our RX model, which is a full-blown street superbike with 185 horsepower. 450 pound, 15 pounds or so, very light, uh, super handling, and we've got it on the podiums of races all over around the world. And uh, so that was the first thing, just to bring come back in a big way after the shutdown of Buell, come back with EBR and say, you know, Americans to do world class. So it's kind of a halo bike. And then we moved next to doing a super fighter, what we call it, which is we said, let's take the super bike and put some regular handlebars on it and take the fairing off. And that's basically it. So we called it a super fighter. As opposed to the street fighters, which are always, they take a, you know, kind of a high performance bike and detune it and then take the bodywork off. I said, you know, why don't we just make a full blown super bike with no bodywork? It's a lot of fun. We wanted the peak horsepower, but I put a whole lot of mid range in. So compared to most of the bikes, we're comparable on horsepower in the top, but in we'll have 20 or more horsepower in the mid-range than they do. So what winds up happening is the bike has such a flat power band that you can ride it anywhere. It doesn't rise in a big zoomy peak like a lot of high-performance bikes. Uh, really aggressive riding position and stuff. It's geared very tall for high speed. But as I was riding around on my street one of these, I started converting mine and put a little bit higher bars on it and put a tour pack on the back and I said, okay, what we really need, we need to make a more all-around street bike because this engine has so much mid-range power, you don't have to ride it when it's making all that horsepower. It's really easy to ride. So I just need to make it in a more streetable package. And that led to the next bike, which is we just did it, announced at this show. This is the first time it's been seen as at the IMS show. And that's the new Black Lightning EBR. So the, the Black Lightning is the, still the full 185 horsepower, 102 foot pound torque engine, same lightweight, around 415 pounds, but the whole bike is lowered, the handlebars are higher, the foot pegs are lower. It's it's a couple of inches lower, but actually, well, it depends on a real super bike, maybe more than that, but it's several inches lower than our last model, and um, it's amazing how much a couple inches of difference makes. And it's not just that the seat's lower, it's that the whole bike's lower, so the feels less top heavy. So even if people are a little bit on their tiptoes, they don't you know, feel that they're gonna fall over because the whole bike weight is down. So it's also geared lower, not for top speed. So it's much more for acceleration. So it's like a real, I guess an urban super bike. And the suspension geometry is, and is the same, but the damping rates and spring rates are a little different for the kind of riding you do on the street. But you know what we found is, we've always done our race bikes to be a little more comfortable than most of them, not quite as extreme. So that's why it wasn't such a hard transition to, to, a, to making a street bike out of it. And uh, really uh, have to take one for a test ride to see how fun it is. It's, it's an amazing bike. We actually taken a number of order, orders from experienced women riders here who are going to their dealers to buy them right now, said, finally, I can get all the horsepower, but in a something I can ride, you know? Well, it's very competitive. The RX is 13,995. The SX is 12,995. The Black Lightning is also 13,995. But they have a deal till if you order, if you put a deposit on one with your dealer before December 31st, there's a $500 discount. <laughs> and it turns out that if you get a discount from this show, 
you get, there's a 500 discount dollar discount card from the show. You can apply that as well. So you could actually, if you order one of these, now they won't be delivered until early spring, late winter, but you could get it for $12,995 if you were attending the show. It's an amazing deal for a hand-built American world-class superbike. We want to make sure that we're in dealerships that are really real motorsports fans that and a lot of them are where the family's been in the business for a while and they have that they have great service and customer support stuff that that's hugely important to me because i don't want to sell a ton of them just to everybody i want to sell them to people who really appreciate the ride and you know live the world of motorcycling and they like to be at dealerships like that i can't express enough how excited i am to see evr's doors open again we wish them the best of luck in their relaunch and on a personal note I can't wait to throw a leg over the new Black Lightning. If you want to see more videos from our coverage of the Long Beach Progressive International Motorcycle Show, go to youtube.com slash cyclesportstv. And don't forget to like and comment on our videos. To keep up with all our new content, including some cool new 360 VR videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel. You can also keep up with what we're doing by following us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and Periscope.